Hello. Hello, hello, Wendy. Hello, Jan. How are ya? Um, thanks for having me on your, your special tonight. So the first question here is, let me, let me see here. Oh. <laughs> Shit. Mm -hmm. It is, uh -huh. what is your favorite snack? And be truthful now, girls. Hello, everyone, and welcome to 10 Questions with Wendy and Jan Walker. That was a question we just heard from Goldie Hawn. What's your favorite snack? Wendy, say hello. Hey, everybody, it's me, Wendy Walker. Um, yeah, what's my favorite snack? Okay, let me think about that for a second. Mm, it's not pizza. It certainly isn't pasta. Mm. That is the favorite food of celebrities. Yeah, we're not, not quite there. We, we we ain't into that. No, but I, you know what I really like is that um, caramel corn thing that has that. It's a Chicago thing. It's gorgeous. Poppycock? Uh, yeah, that's it. That's it. The kind of, yeah. Okay, we've decided on poppycock. Okay, and you, Jan, what, what do you think? I'm going to go with Chapman's ice cream because it's very plasticky. Oh my gosh, that's true. I love chewing on it because... Good answer. Good answer. I like that. I like it. It was good, wasn't it? So, the next question here I got here. Listen up, ladies. How often do you condition your hair? And, fuck, I can barely read this. And, and do you use Fernando's line of Trace of Pot Supreme? And that question's from Goldie as well. Okay, what do you think, Jan? It's it's tough, I gotta say. I do enjoy Fernando's products, as mm -hmm. you can see here. I got it, a, it is gorgeous. It, you know, it's it is. very gorgeous. It's, gorgeous. it's honestly, it's pretty phenomenal. Mm -hmm. It's phenomenal. And, you know, not to mention anything, but, like, I think there's some there's a trend, you know, something's coming back. I'm just getting the vibes. I get the vibes. Mm -hmm. And how often do you condition your hair, Wendy? Oh, I, well, you know, actually, I can't keep track, because... Um, Fernando at the studio, he takes care of it all. So, like, half the time, I'm, like, from a sleeping pill or, like, you know, you know, like, wired, like, like, digitally downloading through my beautiful iPhone, which is brought to you in part by the Wendy Walker Show. We own you now, Apple, okay? We bought you out. I don't care what they say. We own it. We, we own everything. We own everything. Hey everybody, it's me, Kathy Bates. <laughs> hey Wendy, hey, hey Jan, good to see ya. Gosh. Oh. Okay, so the question here tonight for you. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> There's that poodle pill down there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave it. I'm just gonna leave it there. I didn't, I had nothing to do with it. Okay, so the first question we have here. Okay, here is, do you think Donatella Versace raccoon eyes were like a, a good, it, that was a good trend? And and should they make a comeback? <laughs> okay. <laughs> so that was Kathy Bates. Good old Kathy. Hello, miss you girl. Need to hook it up. Yeah. Anyways, yes. Mm -hmm. So she was asking about <laughs> Don and Tella Versace's raccoon eyes. Is it making a comeback, Wendy? Fill us in. Well, the thing is, that's what I thought at first. So, like, you know, but, like, then I did it, and then I I got offered a part. I'm going to be playing Donatella Versace in an all-tell movie. You're kidding. No, it's, it's not. And it's, I'm assuming that's coming through Wendy Walker Corp, which we own. Which we own, exactly. And, you know, you can digitally download everything pretty much now. But Donatella, Donatella Versace is, like, she, I, I didn't know I could do it. And I did. And I just put a little raccoon thing in. I, what do you think I looked like, Jane? Well, I did see the, did you see the, the screen the, test. The, the screen, screen, screen test. You did look phenomenal. Oh, thanks so much, Jan. You are the best. Yeah, so, like, you know, this says it's the refill's overdue. Well, you, you think, is it. 
Oh, are we on? Oh. <laughs> hey, everybody, it's me. <laughs> Cappy Beats. Okay, so, Jan, Wendy. Whoa. Whoa. Look at you. So, the next question here is, okay, so in Star Wars, do you think Darth Vader's uh, parental skills did him justice after cutting Luke's hand off? What do you think? You know, don't, you know, I want you to, don't rush into it right away. Figure it out, okay? Just, you know, because the thing is, here's the most important thing. Is, can they get a refill for these? I don't, I don't, can they? So that was another question from Kathy Bates. She was asking, in Star Wars, do you think Darth Vader's parental skills did him justice after cutting Luke Skywalker's hand off, ladies and gentlemen? Like, he cut that off. Wendy, what is your opinion? Well, here it is I was reading on the interweb. Is Well, I know I got I got a hook up downstairs by the kitchen on the stove, but now <laughs> I actually have it in my bedroom here, too. So, I mean, actually, this isn't really my bedroom, but it was someone's... Okay, never mind. It's a set, okay? So just... Okay, just bear with me, okay? So, okay. Uh, I, I think Darth Vader's parental skills could have been worked on a little bit, like... Like, he could have been a little bit more, um, hey, Luke, you know, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to do that, you know, or something, but he just, and I think that shows a little insensitive, don't, don't you think, Jan? I do. Hey, everybody, it's me, you, Julia Moore, and thanks so much for having me on the show, Wendy and Jan, these are, this is so exciting. There's exciting dice. Okay, so we have um, a question. I have to, I have to ask you a question. Okay, so you know, you know, it's not like I'm being pre-programmed or anything. No, I, I'm just reading off the monitor, really. Okay, so, okay, uh, Jan and Wendy, um, which Spice Girl would you want to be? You know, if you want to be, who do you want to be? <laughs> you know, and don't let my beautiful red hair influence you in any way, shape, or form, okay? I mean, personally, if I had to answer, I would just, like, say Jerry right away. But, like, you know, you know, Wendy, Jen. So, that was a question from your dear friend, Juliana Moore. Oh, Julianne Moore, that's right, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Anyway, she was asking which spice girl would you be honey well i have to agree um juliet more your hair looks gorgeous red and i love jerry as well okay so there it is i just said uh, if i want jerry w- she's i, I want to be jerry because she, she star because also she left and she came back so she showed who's boss she did. gave her a she, raise or she ruled right? she owned them yeah and you she know what them. now guess what we own them. We bought the Spice Girls. Take that, take that one down, eh? Hey, Natalie Portman, you and all your, you know, fancy female, you know, soccer players or whatever it is. Oh, I did hear about that. Yeah, did you? So we are getting a little off topic now here. Oh, sorry so, about that. Okay, uh-huh. next question. Mm-hmm. Hey, Jan. Hi, Wendy. It's me again, Julie Moore. I'm so excited. Thanks again for having me on the show. If you need any help or anything in the studio or anything, you know, I can, I used to work as a grip, so I can hold on to things. <laughs> or I can, you just say to me, get a grip and I'll be your grip. Okay, so anyways, a little self-promotion there. So, the next question is, um, um, have you seen Telly Pereira's Son, Sam. 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 Fr- from the Forgotten. Have you let me read that again. Have 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 you seen have you seen Telly Pereira there? That's me. The son Sam from the Forgotten. Jan, Wendy. Do, do you know where my son is? Sam. <laughs> 
Okay. Yes, we knew this was going to be a question from you. We Absolutely. knew that she was going to have this question, ladies yeah. and gentlemen. Have we seen Tully Pereira's son, Sam? Yeah, and that's the thing. I mean, like, we were involved in the, in the, in the investigation of that, and we took it down, and now we own it. <laughs> so, anyways, so if you want the book right, you have to come through us, okay? So, the, here, first and foremost, Tully Pereira, we have seen your son, Sam. I don't know where, but we've seen him. And to anybody who doesn't know, this is in regards to The Forgotten, the most unforgotten movie of all time, because it is amazing, and Julia Moore was amazing. I know, and I I was up for the role, too. I mean, I didn't get it, because I was kind of a big girl. So, anyway, so... But you... if you were going for that part now, I think well, you'd get it. Well, you know they, why? Because it, we own. Yeah, we own. Hello! Hello! How are you girls? Oh, it's so good to see you. It's so good to see you. And, 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 and I'm expecting a real good paycheck for this. Real good paycheck, especially in the new year. So anyways. I have a qu question here. Will Goldie Hawn's poodly hair Stay trend in 2021? Oh, I don't know about that. Oh, I don't know. Do tell. Will Goldie's Han oh. poodly hair be staying trend? I would say I think so. Oh, and that's so right. You know, Jan, the thing is... Can a two-shot, please? Yeah, get, get, you're not going to get one from over there. You know, okay, who hired you? Did oh, I hire like, you? Look, oh, wait, look wait, wait, at oh. this poodliness. Oh, my God. Like, the it's poodle gorgeous. look it's is gorgeous. totally it's in. Absolutely. And the bigger the poodle, the better. It's amazing. Right? Now, don't get Donatella upset about, you know, that word. Because she doesn't like it. But, you know, because I can say it. I, you know, I own the word. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, yes, I think it's coming back. It's all coming back. It's all coming back to me now. Oh, that brings back memories. Good old Celine Dion. Oh, my God. And she was so... She was amazing. I know. She showed her ass live yeah. on that Hollywood show we did. Yeah. And, and she's... All right, well, this next question I do have a little bit of a problem with, but I, I'm getting paid, so I better read up. Did Old Rose... Why do you always call me Old Rose? Did Old Rose DeWitt actually date that 25-year-old girl? Well, I'll let you two have this one out. I, 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 don't, I don't even know. Did she or didn't she? Okay, so this is a scoop for me. Okay, I don't know. I don't know if she was uh, dating that 25-year-old blonde. I mean, I know uh, Celine and that 25-year-old blonde. She, they both had an altercation just after my party. But you know, that's a while back, and you know, isn't that, that is that was like two years ago right, at your house when ago. Old Rose, she, what, uh, Queen Latifah dropped her off, yeah, did she and, not? And she was abducted by aliens. Yes, outside your yeah. Hollywood home. And then she was just like she, someone dropped her. And she landed on the trampoline. Thank it. Oh yes, and I was, I could still can't understand why we didn't get a quarter back. Well, the thing is, Jan. The thing is, the budgeting. I didn't know how to budget anything. I didn't know how to add together things. I didn't know you had to when you're scanning the item on a self scan. Yeah. Hello, everyone. Yes, yes, it's me, Joan Crawford. Yes, yes, Wendy Jan. Oh, I just love the both of you. I believe it's the last two questions, wasn't it? Okay, here we go. Question Do you think the wire hanger should be abolished? Okay, are we on? Are we recording? 
Oh, I think we still have a couple minutes. Okay. Is my makeup okay? It looks gorgeous. Is what it? Are you talking about, Jenny? Oh my Ever? god, you were kidding. You could ski off mm. those puppies. That's what that's what Fernando says. Mm. Oh my god. Yeah, okay, we're live. We're live. Oh, we're okay. Thank you, Joan Crawford. That was an awesome question. Should so wire much. hangers be abolished? Abolished. Well, here's the thing. We don't have one wire hanger in this production house at all because you know why you know they hurt things wire hangers hurt little girl named christina and you okay so there was a little difficulties going over there a little bit of a digital yeah. download it's, yeah malware was, function yeah and you know you got to scan for viruses these days you know we are in the day the day and age of, oh so many viruses so look like at scary viruses, look at though. retard and his computers hello oh. and now he's making vaccines mm -hmm. like sorry to get off topic here, yeah guys, we but. certainly aren't you know we're not going to promote that here on the wendy walker corp we we are not going to own that one but you know who's gonna own them soon? Our Lord and Savior. That's right. And prison. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And you know, here- And guess what? We're, we're gonna own that prison. I, I'm just gonna drop a couple of clues here, okay? I'm not gonna pretend to know everything, but I'm not going Even to, though you do. I know. And so I'm just giving it's I'm just a trail of breadcrumbs, okay? Something's going down, okay? Hello, everyone. And that's you included, Wendy and Jan. <laughs> so, the last question we'd like to ask you is, which celebrity would you like to portray you who in a, te a tell-all film? <laughs> I'm far too old to play. Well, I think about it. Yeah, sure. Why well, not? Okay, it's a job. Yeah, I'll do it. All right, fine. All right, fine. So, anyways, this is Joe Crawford. I love all of you. So, Wendy, this is the big question and final question of all questions. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna let you read it. Okay, so the last question um, is, which celebrity would you like to portray you in a tell-all movie? Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna go out on a limb here. I know I'm older and everything, but maybe with the artistry of fake makeup and everything, it's gonna, it could progress her. I, I want Britney Spears to play me. I don't know why. She's just so gorgeous, and I, I just want, I just want to say. I really? I just didn't take you as like a Britney girl. I was oh. thinking more like Murphy Brown. Or oh, like... well, you know who also would like, you know, if Sigourney Weaver played me, I thought that kick ass, you know, I want to be an aliens one day and just punch, punch, punch. And... <laughs> ah! So, um, yeah, I'd love to play, have Sigourney Weaver play me as well. Or you know... So, yes, Sigourney, I could totally mm -hmm. see that. So, I think I would have to say. Who would I want? Oh, I think I have some ideas. Oh, Give me wow. some ideas. Okay, Give here's me some one ideas. idea, Jan. Okay, I thought you could play Mona Lisa. You, Mona Lisa's dead. How can she play me? No, I. Oh, I thought. Oh, I thought they won. If you wanted to be in a movie, I was just gonna say, and they did a movie about Mona Lisa. I think you'd be a really good. I think I would be a very. You'd look like her. You know, you always look like you're. You know. Very Mona Lisa, yeah. aren't it? So mo that, and that's gorgeous. Thank you, Brenda yeah. Humphreys. Yeah. That's Thank you for the love. Just, I know, yeah, I am totally right. Mona it's Lisa. It's just gorgeous. And you know, the thing is, and here's the thing, we want to make sure that, you know, we're not, you know, distracting you from all the things that are going on in the world right now. But we just want to say one thing here, okay? Something's going down, okay? I don't know what yet. Right. So I would get Goldie Hawn to play me.
Because she's just fabulous. Yeah, that's gorgeous. That's a great idea. You know, you can do a digital download. I will. I will. That. So that is it for everybody tonight. Thanks yeah, for tuning thanks in. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. We had a fabulous time. And, and just a special promotion, remember, is still available. Don't worry. Just send your money. We will we'll gladly accept it. Okay? And, you know, we are essential. So we are available for curbside pickup as well, if you'd like. Okay? So thanks for tuning in everyone we love you take care and like stay safe because this is so serious the wendy walker core owns you anyways don't worry about that okay i've got my <laughs> soon we'll be around the world isn't that right wow wow